depression, like an ocean, strong, lonely, empty, as the tide begins to pull you into the unknown, the lonelier it gets, the deeper it gets, causing you to feel trapped, unable to breathe, and helpless. As you travel in these dark waters, you feel scared, worried, and sad. You keep fighting to stay above water, but the current pushes you down and takes you lower and lower until you see that last glow of moonlight. Darkness falls. You don't know what's around you. You don't know where the bottom is. You don't know when you're going to see the light again. Welcome to the Dark Abyss. That's how I feel. And I don't know how to escape from the current constantly pulling me lower and lower. I feel like nobody gets it. It's like I'm drowning. And the people around me just say, Keep swimming. You'll be okay. Keep your head up. Everyone says that I'll be okay, but... I don't know if I believe them. Hi, I'm Sophia. So, how did Daniel do today? You know, I just want my son to be happy and to live a good life. Of course. Well, he did fine. Um, he gave me great detail and insight into what he's feeling, uh, which normally never happens during your first session. But upon hearing all of what he had to say, I do think he may be suffering from uh, clinical depression. But more tests will have to be done for a final diagnosis. What, what is that clinical depression? I mean, Daniel seems fine to me. I, he's a teenager. He's been distant a little lately, but um, all teenagers are distant from their parents, right? Well, it's a little more complicated than that. You know, clinical depression is a feeling of sadness, hopelessness, and emptiness, all of which Daniel had described to me. And it's not just being sad for a day, you know, it's something that can last weeks, months, sometimes even years. And well, Daniel has seemed fine to you because, well, the human body wants to avoid those feelings around others. You know, he doesn't want to be a target or have others worry about him. So normally there is a pretend side to people who are depressed. This is, um, this is, this is all my fault, isn't it? No, no, not at all. Depression is often caused by trauma. Um, Daniel expressed to me that his grandpa passed away back in 2017, as well as a divorce that happened a year ago. And he also told me that his girlfriend broke up with him. So all three of these major traumas could have led up to this. So... What's important now is that we're here for Daniel. Now we can't show any signs of sadness around him, okay? But please, please promise that you're not gonna take this all on yourself. Because I know and I promise that your son is going to get through this.
Daniel. You don't think I fucking know that over here, Olivia? You don't know that. You don't know that. What the fuck do you mean? Because this is all your fault. You spent all of our money, and you've done this to our family. Oh, here we go. Here we go again. Come on. Oh, here we go again. Here we go again. That's all you have to say. calling you for over a minute. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was just asleep. Okay. Well, dinner's ready, so come on. So, how was the pasta? It's fine, thanks. I remember, you used to eat pasta all the time when you were little. Yep, I remember. Mm. I cleared my schedule next week so we can do something. Okay. Well, what would you like to do? Any ideas? Well, maybe we can go shopping. I'd rather just stay home. That's boring. Come on. I really would like to get you out of the house. No, Mom. I just want to stay home. Daniel, you can't stay cool. Mom! Don't you get it? I don't want to go out. I just want to stay home. Can I be excused from the table? Why me?
Good morning. Rise and shine. It's time to get up. Start your day. Leave me alone. Let me sleep. Come on, get up. Wakey, wakey. I don't want you sleeping all day. your papa's box. He used to be a photographer and it has all of his camera equipment in it. I thought you might like to give it a try. Thanks, I guess, but that's not really my thing. You can just leave it. Well, okay, but I still want you to have it and I want you to try it out. Okay, mom, not now. Get ready. Come down for breakfast. Not the end of it all, guess who was there? Dude, the lady in pink. Yes, exactly. <laughs> what about you, Daniel? How you been, man? Just going through the motions, I guess. Trying to get through high school, you know. Wake up, school, practice, homework, sleep. And it feels like we're all just robots, you know? Yeah, I feel you on that one. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm kind of thirsty, so I think I'm going for a drink. Y'all want anything? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm good, but I'll come with you, though. All right, cool. And then you want to come? Burning alive must suck. That feeling of being trapped, helpless, unable to do anything about the situation. That's deep, Daniel. Is everything going okay? My therapist thinks I might be suffering from depression. I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, how are you holding up? It sucks. I'm just numb to everything. I'm so numb, I don't even feel like I'm here right now. Losing my grandpa really hurt. Called him Papa. We did everything together. I remember one of the last memories I have with him. We were building a Lego set. My parents got divorced. That really messed me up. Having to go back and forth every week, never getting settled because as soon as you did, it was time to pack up and go back to the other house. Then a month ago, my girlfriend broke up with me. And that felt like my heart was being ripped out of my chest. Falling in love was great. And no one ever tells you that it can cause a lot of pain and numbness. It's like one moment you know everything about a person. And the next, it's like you never knew him at all. Daniel, I'm so sorry. I can't even imagine what you're going through. I don't want you giving up, Daniel. I mean... Life's too short to just give up. From the first day we met, I saw something special in you. And now, 
all of this has happened and I still see something special in you. You may not see it or feel it right now, but you are a bright young man. And don't you ever stop fighting because you're never just out of the fight. Look, whatever you're thinking right now, it isn't worth it. Thanks. Nobody gets it like you. I saw this quote the other day. It couldn't be more true. It goes like this. People think depression is sadness. That it's crying and dressing in black. But people are wrong. Depression is the constant feeling of being numb. Being numb to emotions, being numb to life. You wake up in the morning just to go back to bed again. I'm so numb, I feel like I'm dead, Em. Nobody knows what it really feels like until they're drowning in the darkness. God, I just, I wish parents these days would understand what depression actually feels like because they're always the first ones to say, it's okay, suck it up. Something I tried when I was depressed or unable to express my emotions was taking pictures. I mean, it's the freest I've ever felt. Just you, alone with the camera, and no one to judge. Yeah, my grandpa was a photographer. Oh, what's going on with YouTube? Whose dog just died? Just shut up, Jack, and tell us another story. Cool, okay. I got another one for y'all. Ready?
Chasing down a dream, it's the same thing again and again. But you know there's a light at the end. Oh, if you could only see. Me. I tried something new. I tried swimming up. Then it's like another wave of, or a current hit me and drug me back down to the abyss. What's that wave then? I got criticized for the way my photos came out. I had the slightest thought that maybe I was getting better, but no. No matter what I do, who I talk to, I'm still stuck here, where it's cold, dark, Empty and lonely. I'm getting scared that there's no help coming. So, um, how have you been doing since we last spoke? Just getting through it. Day by day, I guess. Well, um, do you want to tell me more about it? It's been about a month since I started therapy. I still feel like I'm in the same cold, dark, empty place that I've been in. It's like I'm just sinking more and more to the bottom of the ocean. To be honest, I don't remember the last time I saw this world in color. Just numb. I don't remember the last time I had a meaningful conversation with my mom. It's like my body wants to fight. There's just no fight left in me. And what does your mom say about all this? She's 
she tries to make me feel better by saying uplifting things like it's okay or just be happy she's always like wake up stop sleeping so much little does she know when you're depressed it's the only thing that can make the numbness go away no matter how many times you say you love me or it's okay, shake it off. It won't make me feel better. I've been feeling like this for a year now. Like I'm on the outside, looking in at the world, just wondering how to get back in. I've been numb since my grandpa passed away. I've been torn since my parents got a divorce. They make me feel like I have to pick a side. I hate it. I've been scared to love again since my girlfriend broke up with me. Everyone thinks I'm okay, but that's not it. My depression can't be measured by the tears I cry but by the pretend smile that I put on. It's so dark, Em. I haven't seen or had any hope since I started feeling this way. I, I don't even know what to say. I mean, hearing your story and everything you've been through makes my life seem like nothing. But I feel you. When I used to get depressed, I never thought I'd get out, and I never saw any hope. Until one day, I ran away from home, and I found this place. What place? This place, Daniel, it brings me peace. I could take you there if you'd like. Sure. That'd be nice. Hey, it's okay. You're gonna be okay, all right? It's okay. It's okay. You're gonna get through this. Why are you helping me? Because, Daniel, I see past this darkness that fallen on you. I told you that night at the bonfire, okay? I see a bright young man in you. Come here. Come here. It's okay. Take some deep breaths, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, right, ready to go? Nice. Yeah. Make it good?
All right, look. Best views come from the hardest climbs, Daniel. What is it? like this for a year now. You I don't know who I am anymore. You're not alone. I just want to get better. What's it going to take? Where are you going? What am I gonna do for some hope? What am I gonna do for some fucking hope? It's hope. Something I never thought I'd see again. Depression, like an ocean. Depression is often thought of as you crying, having bad days, and just being sad. But as you saw, that's not it. Depression is numbness, not wanting to get out of bed, and even at times thinking the world would be better off without you. As I learned, depression doesn't care who you are or what you look like. It sneaks up slowly from the shadows and grabs you. Depression is one of the biggest personal wars you can face. You have to fight it. You have to fight the spiraling thoughts, the physical symptoms, and the darkness that falls on you. In these darkest of times, you can't lose. You have to fight. Depression truly never goes away but you can conquer it so that it doesn't control your life. It's okay to cry, to have bad days, to scream, to seek help, and to break down. But what's not okay is to give up. When you feel your back is against the wall and the darkest cloud is over you, remind yourself that the light will outshine the darkness. Have hope because you are not alone.